Hey friends, hope you're having a good day. We're going to paint today. We're going to do a start finish project. These are examples of what we're going to do today. It's really simple. It's very easy. It moves along quickly. It's so much fun to do these little paintings. I learned this from Diane Anton. I will put a link in the description box below so you can watch her tutorial. Um, they're they're very perky they're very happy and i'm i'm really that's where i am now i'm really searching for that happy and being happy and how do i create my own happy because you really can't rely on other people to create your happy for you that is an inside job i have some paper here this is not this is not watercolor paper this is just some paper out of my sketchbook but i thought you know this might give you the um the um the motivation or the inspiration to break out a few paints and maybe a water brush and maybe a sharpie and maybe a posca pen and maybe a white pen and just see what can happen circles are Circles are soothing, they are meditative, they are healing. Uh, you know, when you think about life, and life is a circle, cir happens in a circular way. It's very inspiring to just sit and uh, be quiet and to do this kind of art. I've been doing these in the morning as I sit and have my coffee and I like to look at my puppies and <laughs> I like to listen to them snore. I, I like to paint. I do not, uh, I don't listen to the news. I don't turn the TV on first thing in the morning. I just have a lot of quiet time. Chris is a very late sleeper because he has to keep a different schedule because he's a music guy. He's a musician and some of his shows, um, like yesterday, he had an early show. Uh, but, you know, sometimes he's, he does not have an early show, and it's just best that he stay on a routine of sleeping late. You know, he goes to bed late, and he sleeps late, which is really good. You don't want to, you know, you don't want to, uh, you don't want to mess with that routine when it is your routine to sleep. And that's how... That's how that works. It's going to be really interesting to see how this paper kind of plays along with this little project. You can see the puddles of water that this is creating. I think that's cool. That's okay. You know, if we were called upon, we could drop some colors in here and kind of cause them to, uh, to bloom. But I just want to keep this really simple for us right now. So we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to do this. We're going to work in groups of three because that's what Diane says is best. So I've got three yellow circles, varying sizes. Uh, I am trying to, you know, trying to keep the circular shape. You might wonder about this palette, y'all. This palette is a, uh, this palette is something that either I picked up or somebody gave me years ago. And the cool thing about using the palette downstairs is I can hold it with my hand. I can pick up the paint and I can paint and I never even have to put the palette down, which, you know, kind of works and it works in, in a way that kind of keeps you motivated and, and keeps you um, engaged with, with, you know, with your project. We've got our circles here. Um, let's do... Let's do some pretty red over here. The cool thing about using a watercolor brush, y'all, is that you can get those varying shades without dipping your brush back into, uh, you know, back into any kind of paint. So we've got a dark red going on here, and this is going to be... Y'all say if you're going to use a water brush... Uh, 
don't be careful, but you know, you're going to get water on this and, and uh, sometimes that water really does pond and pool. All right, so we've got one, two, and I think my next one will go here. So we're even lighter still and we have not dipped back into the paint. We're listening to storm sounds. We're listening to library ambience, ASMR library sounds, and it's a crackling fire, rain, pages turning. Rain's appropriate because that's kind of all we've had here for, uh, for days and days and days on end. I've got a, a nice blue-ish purple going on over here. You can see how polluted this palette is, but that's okay. I mean, that that actually works for me. I really don't mind it. It's one. Now... I'm even getting some, uh, like a light gray here because of all the colors that I have on my watercolor brush. Look at that. That's an interesting color right there, my friends. All right, I do want to dip back into the blue because I do want a kind of a vibrant blue up top here. So grab whatever you have, you know, if you have some colored pencils or uh, you have some watercolor pencils or uh, acrylic or, you know, your kids, uh, <laughs> your kids paint box. This is a great paint box and it is from Dollar General and it was like five bucks. So anything that you might have to make some color, uh, maybe you have, uh, maybe you have. Um, Easter egg coloring left over from Easter. It's color, my friends, right? Maybe there are berries growing around your house and you can smash up some mulberries or blackberries or blueberries and make yourself a, uh, A berry tinged palette. I know we said three, but I'm kind of getting to the point where I think I kind of got enough going on here. I want to create some super light images for just some hints of a background just some hints of things like in the just in the background here that's really too dark but you know what it's okay i'm gonna make it work for me and i think i'm gonna put one here A little too much water. If you just feel like you got too much, then you can kind of twist a, a bit of paper towel. And honestly, I, I love what that creates. Tell me about your weather. What's it been like where you are? I think a lot of the a lot of the United States is just having I'm just having a lot of rain and funky weather. Oh, that one turned out really well. That's that's super light and I'm liking that. So I'm going to add one more right here. 
Okay, now what we need to do is we need to let this draw. So we're going to let that one draw while we are going to work on another one. Again, you know, I got a good brush going over here. I like to start with light colors. I like to start with those yellows. And I like to start big. I'm going to keep an eye on that one to make sure it's drawing properly. picked up some orange right there. Cool. <clears throat> Two. Put one here. Now this one's going to be light, so it might be one of those uh, really cool background kind of flowers that we aren't even going to finish. We're, we're going to leave those as is. We are not going to to embellish those. Oops, that's gonna almost had a crash there. Um, I'm thinking maybe I might like to have some purple. Like I said, my palette is super polluted, but I can kind of dig under <laughs> the colors and get and get the original color and I think what I want to do here is just um I just want to kind of mix on the fly that's a wee dark mm, that's nice right there let's do that I did buy Tombow water brushes so we'll we'll dive into those a little bit later this week please let me know if you uh if you're enjoying these videos if you'd like to see more i've really really gotten away from youtube if you do youtube you know that um there's there's not much to be made over here so if you would like to contribute, I'll leave my um, I'll leave my PayPal link so you can um, PayPal me a tip. It's always nice. I do have Venmo, but I never use Venmo. All right, um, we are into the shadow colors here and I'm just kind of mixing the colors that have presented themselves that are interesting over here let's do a sweet blue Orangey brown, brown, rusty brown, rust color brown. And then I'm just going to squeeze this out and mix whatever it is I have going on over here. Another little, like a little shadowy. Um, 
kind of have this set. Um, I think we might keep that just like that. That looks, that looks pretty good. All right, I can see that my first little painting is pretty draw. And since I'm already starting to get croaky, let's go ahead and finish this up. So another reason I have not been here a lot is in January I got really sick and um, still having a lot of trouble with my throat. Alright, um, I want something to go by and so I'm going to use these patterns, these neurographic things that are going on up here to finish this up. Another Diane tip that became important to me was when you are putting stems on something, if you start from the bottom and pull up, it often gives you a better result. Now, how about that? You know, all of these flowers are not getting stems. I mean, you can tell, you know, like there's, okay, so this one could fit in, all right? The next thing that we wanna do is just add some interest to these lawns. Now I'm gonna link Diane's video um, so you can you can see what she she did here. She swatched out a Kuritake set and then turned the swatches, her circular swatches, into this. And it was just way interesting. And it's been very inspiring to watch her do what she does. Crazy magic. Um, vary your patterns a little bit. So we've got our stem thing going on. The three biggest or two biggest circles I like to doodle inside. I like to make those big flowers. So that's what we're going to do here. I highly suggest that you start a doodle book. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to putting mine together because a lot of times when I sit down to do this, my mind goes completely blank and I can't remember. I can't, I can't doodle one doodle. I just, I, I don't know what it is. My mind just 
it goes blank. That's all there is to it uh, when it comes to doodling. So it's really helpful to have, you know, to have something to go by. And I did all this this morning, so it's really helpful. And then we're going to do some circles. These are all Diane doodles. Doodles make you happy. Doodles add quality to your life. The motion of doing it makes... You have to kind of breathe through it. That makes sense, right? A lot of you have been in touch on Facebook and you said, hey, I want to do that. Well, I'm encouraging you today to just do it. It's a delightful way to spend a rainy, rainy day. I'm not going to do the blue one and the red one and this one. So this one's this one's all done. I will go back and add color. Sorry, Mia is shutting and her hair's everywhere. I will go back and add some, um, uh, you know, some pen work here to the the leaves and all. But you know, we we did something from beginning to end today, and I thought that you guys would really enjoy that. I appreciate you hanging out with me. Please check out Diane's videos that I have linked below. And have a sweet Wednesday, my friends. Talk to you soon. Bye.